Let's go! Little Red Tractor, he's king of the fields. Getting his job done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, let's go! With Sparky and Nipper and Big Blue too, and lots more friends in tow. Little Red Tractor, let's go! Back a bit, just a bit further. Whoa! We've got a nice long drive ahead of us today, Little Red Tractor. There's a lot to do. So, let's go! Here we go, Big Blue. This is our perfect opportunity for some free press for our new cheese business. Skip Shutter, Babblebrook Gazette here for the photographs and interview. Ready when you are, Mr Shutter. That's it, Mr Jones. Lovely. You know, this is all because of a letter we received at the newspaper all about you. He head to the right. Oh, is that so? The letter is what sparked my brilliant idea. Villager of the Year. Now, look to camera. Oh, what did the letter say again? Oh, yes. Mr Jones is a pillar of the community. He has one of the largest... Um, farms? Farms in, in the, the area. area. And, and he is always there, there to, to help, help a friend, a friend in, in need. need. He, he is very, very, very nice, nice indeed. indeed. And hence. Uh, strange, though. What? I was saying, uh, strange, though. Uh, strange that the letter wasn't signed. <laughs> you must have a mystery admirer. Did, um, by any chance, did the letter mention my new cheese business? Oh, yes, as a matter of fact. Anyhow, on with the interview. So, what do you think makes you Villager of the Year? Well, let me see. Um... I have a new cheese business. Everyone likes cheese. Hmm. Not quite what I had in mind. Get me down! Oh, 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 why do these things always happen to me? Oh, it's better. It stopped. <laughs> I got a good view from up here. <laughs> you all right, Stumpy? What are you doing all the way up there? I'm stuck! Can you get me down? You just hold on there. I think I may have an idea. I'll hold on here till you get an idea! Now I'm going to need you to hold absolutely still, little red tractor. You mustn't move an inch. Oh, sorry. I forgot that was there. I'm going to put the ladder into the trailer to give us some extra height and then you can climb down, OK? OK! No problem! Hold still, little red tractor. There you go, Stumpy! Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Skip! Ah, oh, uh, Skip Shutter, Bubble Brook. Well, what? Did I tell you about the unique flavour of my cheese? Yes. Look, Mr. Jones, this isn't what I'm after at all. I'll, I'll simply have to run a different story on the front page. Skip, there must be something a bit. Oh, think, Jones, think. Um, well, there was a time I pulled a huge tree clear of the road. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> go on. Well, there was this tree. It had fallen across the track, you see, blocking the way through the wood. It was huge, and it was down to me and Big Blue to clear the way. After all, Big Blue is the strongest tractor in the area, you know. So we heaved and heaved and heaved, and finally, we pulled it out of the way. Brilliant. What else? There must be more. Um, well, well, um, well, I did help rescue Stumpy when he got stuck on the barn roof that time. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, don't tell me. I can see it now. Stumpy is stuck on the roof with no possible way down. Who could save him? Who could come to the rescue? Why? It could only be one man, the villager of the year, Mr Jones. So, knowing that he's in safe hands, Stumpy flings himself from the roof and lands in the waiting arms of Mr. Jones. Oh, oh, this is the stuff, all right. Th th that's sort of how it happened. I know, on the front page, we'll keep the readers guessing, then reveal who you are in a double page centre spread. D uh, d uh, double page? Read all about it tomorrow. Go and skip. Don't forget my cheese.
There yeah. we go. <clears throat> Thanks for doing this for me. No problem. I'll see you later. See ya. Stumpy the Miller, the very man. I'm running a story of the Villager of the Year, so in your own words, can you tell me how you were rescued from Mr Jones's roof by your wonderful neighbour? <laughs> oh, he is something, him and his tractor. They've already saved me this morning. Oh, we never mentioned that. Now, what about this roof incident? Well, I was cleaning windows, see, when I had a little accident. Oh, I always seem to get into trouble when I'm cleaning windows. Anyhow, I land on the barn roof, and what with the ladder being broken, there was no way down. Well, not until our heroes arrived, so I had to jump off the roof. Which was a bit scary, I have to say. <laughs> but I landed safe and sound. Oh, this is great stuff. I, I must get back to the newspaper. Well, you should speak to Walter at the garage. He's got a story or two to tell about uh, you-know-who. Oh, I've just got time to stop in on the way back. Oh, and next time you're here, I'll tell you about the time you rescued me when I got stuck in the mud. Oh, well, why wait? You can tell me on the way. Early to bed, early to rise. I can't miss getting hold of the first edition of tomorrow's newspaper. Night, night, Teddy. You see, the river all dried up. And when I went for help, I sunk in the mud. Luckily, my neighbour came to the rescue. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it was touch and go for a while, because I was sinking deeper and deeper into the mud. Oh, and it, it, it took a couple of goes to get the rope out to me. But once I was roped up, he pulled me to safety. <laughs> Took some doing, mind. <laughs> oh, that story is getting better and better. Hello, dear. What can I do for you fellas? I'm after some information. Yeah, Skip's doing a story about the villager of the year. Here, did you hear about that time he saved Patch from the cliff? Now, that was great. <gasps> do tell. Well, we had just pulled Rusty clear of the cliff edge when we heard barking and found that somehow Patch the dog had got himself stuck on a ledge. But the man with the plan, he always carries a rope in his toolbox, so he tied one end to the tow hook, and this is where I came in, he tied the other end to my anky. Now this formed a sling for Patch to climb into. Then it was down to pure tractor power. It didn't take long to hoist Patch up the cliff face back to safety, although I have to say it was a close call. <laughs> Brilliant. Stan's quite a guy, all right. Well, don't forget, little red tractor. They make a great team. And, uh, uh, hold on. I I'm doing a story on the villager of the year, Mr Jones. Mr, Mr. Jones? Yes. What about the stories you told me? I, I was talking about Stan and little red tractor. Well, me too. Hey, here they are now. Well, I, I, I still have my story. Only the names have changed. N now to get some pictures. Smile. Hey. Lovely. Uh, just a few more. Good to see you, mate. What's going on? Oh, you see, old friend of mine. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I must dash if I'm going to make the deadline. Read all about it tomorrow. Will someone tell me what on earth is going on? You heard the man. <laughs> Read all about it tomorrow. Wake up, Walter. All right, all right. What sort of fun? I need a newspaper. You're a bit early. They haven't been delivered. Hold up, hold up. Here they are now. Cheers, Charlie! Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Bang on time, Stumpy. The paper's just arrived. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Heroic man and tractor team announced as villagers of the year. Turn to centre pages to read all about. Hurry, Walter. I want to read all about... Stan! There they are. <laughs> There's nothing about me. But I was going to be Villager of the Year. Oh, Skip was a bit confused, but we put him straight. Oh, yeah, he seemed to think that you'd done the things that Stan had. <laughs> How silly. Well, glad you put him straight. Oh, here's the man of the moment. Here, Stan. You two are famous. Check it out. So this is what was going on yesterday. Stan and Little Red Tractor make a great team. Thanks, guys. It's really nice of you to say these things. Now everyone will know what we know. You two are the best. Yes, you're just marvellous. 